Houses, the Johnson County Sheriff's Office and jail might not be able to stay open, according to Sheriff Brad Kunkel. And if that happens, taxpayers will shoulder the burden to house inmates in other counties. KCRG TV 9's Rebecca Vaughn talked with the sheriff, who gave us a tour of what's wrong and what's needed at the jail. It is now possible that the jail could face closure because of the structural integrity concerns. The question is when. I don't think that will be tomorrow, but I don't know how many years down the road that will be. The building that holds the Johnson County Sheriff's Office and jail was built circa 1980. That makes the building roughly 44 years old. We were starting to see cracks in the interior of the structure. We're starting to see uh, on the exterior places where the building, uh, design of the building is working against the building itself. On a tour of the building, he pointed out cracks in the walls and a bucket that sits in the hallway to catch water from a leaking roof. A bond to build a new justice center attached to the Johnson County Courthouse failed to pass in 2013. If those would have passed, we wouldn't be in this building and we wouldn't be having this conversation. If the building were to close, three major pieces would have to be considered. Where the inmates would be housed, where staff would go, and where new arrestees would go. Items that could cost a lot of money. We have to be responsible stewards of everybody's tax dollars. And to, if, we are having, if we are spending millions of dollars a year in out-of-county housing, in pushing all those costs everywhere else when we could have our own solution here, then we need to pursue having our own building here. It's irresponsible to to flush money down the drain when we could keep those dollars local. In Johnson County, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG TV9 News. Thank you.